previewed with Adam and Jay. I'm Adam. And I'm Jay. Today we're going to react, review your riff, and at the end we're going to recommend, maybe, we're Detective Pikachu! Yeah, we saw it last night and we had a great time. Uh, you, a lot of you guys on uh, Discord and uh, in the comments have been asking us for a review of the movie, uh, and uh, we'll just do, give a big spoiler warning right now if you haven't seen it, because this is going to be spoiler-tastic. Oh, all the spoilers. From basically pretty much from the beginning. Uh, and we're kind of doing a new thing here. It's a kind of a new video. Yes, it's a movie review, but now it's stylized. We're calling it Four Points. Four Points. Yep. Four Points about Detective Pikachu. And uh, spoilers, because right from the first point. So point number one. It's a start. It's a start. It is a start. Long story short, it was okay. I, you know, it was pretty good. It was an okay movie. I had a really, really great time. I, can, I, can I interject real quick? Of I would, course. I would like to do a Jay impression. This is because uh, Jay and, okay. uh, and I and his wife, Kimberly, his, his lovely wife, we all went to the movie together because Kimberly and I needed to see this movie with Jay in case we had questions. <laughs> I, would like to do, I would like to describe, do my impression of Jay's face through 90% of the movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was basically uh, my face hurt. Uh, at the end of the movie from just smiling through the whole thing. It wasn't a full smile. It was just like a, just like a, I'm so happy, yeah. I'm so happy. <laughs> Basically, I, it, you know, it was a kid's movie at the end of the day. Uh, really, it, this movie was okay, but it only needed to be okay. I viewed Detective Pikachu as a gigantic proof of concept for Pokemon movies going forward. Mm-hmm. And that was all it needed to do. The PCU, as it were. Hell yeah. The Pokemon Cinematic Universe. Oh, just <laughs> you saying it gets me excited. It, it should be a thing. This movie proved that it can be a thing. But this... Yeah, th I mean, this is kind... It was kind of like... Iron Man was really cool and had that moment at the end. This movie does not have a cr post credit scene. We stayed for no. a while. It doesn't have a post credit scene. No. There's no, like, as people were saying, like, uh, Nick Fury showed up and was like, I'd like to talk to you about the Smash Brothers initiative. It's like Professor Oak being like, hey, I'm Professor Oak. Yeah. Who they cast as Professor Oak? I don't even know. Now I'm excited. But, like, yeah, at the end of the day, like, this movie was good, but, like, I left wanting more. Yes. Another round, extra shot, black as night. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> And like, okay, that was cool, but like, what, is there something else you have for me here? Because I think you should have something yeah. more. Yeah, and in that sense, huge triumph for a movie. Oh, for yeah. A movie like this. Absolutely, totally. The fact that you want more, that's a big, that's a huge deal. Like, that, whether or not like, you know, the plot was really like that good, or the dialogue was that good, is completely, in my opinion, moot. It's a moot point. Oh. Like, it, they showed us a world in which Pokemon live there and live coincide with humans, mm -hmm. and it was really cool and not totally lame. It was not lame because at all. Because it could have really been totally lame. Mm -hmm. It, it could have been. It was not at all. It was so cool. It was, ve it was very... <laughs> even now, I, as I'm not a Pokemon fan, I, I haven't played any of the games. I've, I've watched some of the cartoons. I know, you know, maybe half of the names sure. recognize the other half. But, like, I still had a really good time. But, like, again, this is the start of something, and I think they could do better, and they should do better. There's, yeah. It, there's nowhere to go but up. If totally. They stay, if they stay this baseline, there's nowhere to go but up. And speaking of the storyline, uh, point number two. The twists! twists! Now, this is, a, this is a mystery movie. This is a good... I mean, it's Detective Pikachu. Detective's in the title. So, like, there's a mystery afoot. There's actually... Couple of mysteries afoot. And the movie is full of twists. There's like, uh, I would say maybe like three, three or, or four. four of them. Yeah. Now, there was, I know, I, I called two of them. And Which this, one did you call? I'm, okay, so the Ditto being... <laughs> that being, was actually pretty cool. <laughs> so, the, so there's a, yeah, the mystery of, the, 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 I guess, the son being the bad guy. Surprise, not the bad guy. It no. was the Ditto posing as the son being the bad guy. Yeah. Cause I didn't get, I didn't call that I one. caught the Ditto. I totally missed where the dad was. Did not see that coming at all. The, yeah. The big, the big resolution at the end of saving uh, the main character's dad. 
totally didn't see that coming. Yeah. I felt like, oh, I should have, maybe, but like, it did a really good job. I didn't see it coming. No, no. Um, and what was the other one? Uh, the back to who the actual bad guy was. I yeah. Kinda, I kind of had a feeling that was was going on too. I mean, the whole like gas in the parade balloons and stuff like that was maybe a little. It was a little ham fisted. I had to. Rem that was the one time I had to remind myself, this is a child's movie. Mm -hmm. This is not necessarily for us. But man, uh, human beings with ditto eyes. No. Oh, it's terrifying. Oh, ju the absolute worst. But I think you actually brought it up when we were leaving the movie that may the mysteries may have been a little bit better going forward if they just didn't have the intro. If we didn't see Mewtwo at the very beginning, I think maybe it would have been, uh, the, the mysteries would have felt a little bit more, like, impactful. But because we knew Mewtwo was involved for a large amount of it, it was yeah. kind of like, ah... Uh, it just kind of took the edge off of at least that mystery of it. Here, yeah, here's the thing. Because I, 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 I was thinking about it during the movie. Because the movie gives you time to think. Uh, at least adults. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I get why they had Mewtwo in the trailers. Because I remember our reaction when we were watching it. Like, we, I, I lost my mind. Because, like, oh, I know Mewtwo. Oh, crap, he's in the movie? That's awesome. Then it was a really cool shot. Especially with the music that was playing. But knowing that Mewtwo was in the movie, kind of... They kind of showed their hand. Kind of showed their hand a little bit, and the beginning of the movie shows like the inciting incident, but it's not really in the inciting incident because it doesn't have any bearing on the narrative no, at all. The movie doesn't start until like after the title sequence, and if we meet our main character. It kind of spoils its own movie a little bit. A little bit, yeah, it really does because we, we it's okay. There was a car accident, but we don't know who it is. But we all know who it is because yeah. all that stuff. But like we start the movie just with the main character learning that his father's dead. Oh boy. That's way different than seeing a car crash with no context, and then going and then following this. The, you know, yeah. The I gotta be honest go. with you. I didn't see. I didn't see the ending coming. I really should have, but it, I was. I was pleasantly surprised by it. Mm -hmm. And seeing Ryan Reynolds at the very end, and like him being the dad, and then realizing that they were bonding the whole time was a very sweet moment. It's a very sweet, I was, it was bittersweet for me, because although I liked it, at the same time I was like, oh, but that means we can't do have a sequel of this, because, yeah, well, the Pikachu doesn't talk anymore, and it was, you know, Ryan Reynolds' voice coming out of that Pikachu is kind of like the whole drive of the movie. Yeah. I, but I want more of that. I want Tim and Detective Pikachu talking like Ryan Reynolds to go on a more, more adventures. Oh, see, I'm fine with it being done. I, honor, I get that. I'm fine with it being done. I get or that. if you want to put Ryan Reynolds and his son solving mysteries in a Pokemon universe, I'm okay with that too. Sure. Because I think this might actually bring us to our third point. I think we should, yeah. Uh, third point. It's a kid's movie. This is a kid's movie. Which Hard. is, it's just like, it's now, it, kid's movies for Pokemon movies are like, I've seen a couple of them and those are, those are child films. Yeah. Those are just like, oh. Yeah, it's a little. It's hard to watch as an adult. And or that's. Even the college, it's like, oh, And like boy. with the parade floats and that whole plot line, I, I thought like the dad's motivation for wanting to do that was a little murky at best. It didn't really make a lot of sense. And then I realized, oh, this is Pokemon. This is totally something Jesse and James would do of Team Rocket. Mm -hmm. This is like a totally, this is a totally Pokemon plan. I just had to kind of remedy that a little bit because there were so many moments of it not being a, like the dialogue of, the, of what was the girl's character's name? The reporter. I, the reporter. Lucy. They didn't do a good know. job with her. I don't know. But I was like, ah, her dialogue's pretty bad. And I was like, ah, no, she's a Pokemon side character. I guess it makes sense. That being said, it was totally a kid's movie. I think, I think they did themselves they did themselves a disservice by kind of leaning on that a little bit. They absolutely did. And I think in the future, mm -hmm. I think they should end up they should realize that the Pokemon, most of the Pokemon's audience, like yes, it's a lot of kids. Yes, it who is. We're playing through Pokemon, but, but also their audience is aging. Uh huh. I think that they, if they want to continue making Pokemon movies, I think they should edge towards teenagers and up. Yes. Because Marvel films are PG, PG-13, but they are for everyone. I they, think that's there the sweet are no, spot. There's no cursing, there's a lot of ton of action in their comic book movies, but they're comic book movies that for everyone everybody. can enjoy because mm -hmm. kids get it, adults get it, and they get all the layers of it, and there's cool action for everybody. Pokemon is a worldwide brand, and even though I never played any of the games but, and watched some of the cartoons, like I'm kind of invested. I would like to see a more adult... You, you evolved, like, everyone leaves this movie wanting a Pokemon. Yeah. 
I don't know which one I want. We spent a lot of time talking about who would get what. Yes. <laughs> and we, we decided that my wife would have would be uh, it would be wildly inconvenient on our on our social life, but she would have a rapid dash. And it would just be a horse that follows us everywhere. Mm -hmm. it's just, it would just be, it's just be bad. But, but that's what we left talking about. Because that's what the movie makes. I mean, everyone's walking around with a Pokemon partner, just kind of just tailing around the city, and it looked awesome. I was like, yeah, why would you not want that? Just edge a little bit more adult. You, you can make a movie for all generations and, and still get the kids. If you aim towards kids, you're going to lose some of the older audience. Because, like, yes, adults will take their kids, but they're like... We kind of want to, you know, we want yeah. to see this movie too. I kind of checked out in the third act. Really? A little, yeah. Okay. Because I was like, I, this isn't, if anything, I, I was just like, man, I really am looking forward to a movie in which it's just revolving around the trainers and like Pokemon battles and stuff like that. If anything, I think this show, like this movie could lend itself towards a, like a, a very well produced television show. Like I like the idea of like a like a I mean, yeah, could. an elementary to high school drama about kids who are in a Pokemon training academy. Yeah, like that kind of stuff. That I was would be like, really cool. I kind of want I want there to be a little bit more depth to my mm -hmm. this movie to yeah. the characters, yep. Yep. not yep. just yep. the Pokemon mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I just feel again, what a good start. <laughs> like, it's a great yes, a great start. It, it, it did me, mean you made a great kids movie. That I'm kind not of, writing off, I'm more nope. excited about the future of. Which I hope that you guys give us a little bit more of a movie that's for all ages. I mean, because again, like Star Wars films yeah. are for PG and they're for all everybody. ages. They're for everybody and there, you know, there are a lot of adult themes in there, but they're like, handled properly so everybody can watch them. I think that's really the biggest sin of this movie is that it, it doesn't, I feel like there's a twinge of, we're just making a kid's movie. Well, I mean, like all the, the Pokemon anime films are, you know, directed towards kids. And this is part of the Pokemon company, so they, they had to sign off. So yeah. maybe they're, they're the, like, we're we know what's safe, it's going to be this. And, you know, and they made a, over, like, $50 million opening weekend. So this movie is going to be a success. It is already yeah. a success. So hopefully this shows them, like, yeah, this was good. You guys can age this up a little bit. Yeah. Which does bring us to our final point, which is the special effects. Yeah. Are amazing. To and, a point. To a point. The, the special effects, when they nail it, is truly spectacular. Like, I re watching this movie, I was like, that there is a Pikachu there. Yeah, he's holding a Pikachu. He's holding a Pikachu. Mm -hmm. Their Pokemon are real, and they can be in our universe. But it feels like this movie ran out of money at a certain point. There were... Because yeah. the first, like, two-thirds of this movie, all of the special effects are, like, spot-on... And it feels like it feels like real life with Pokemon, and then you get towards it's the third act, man. The third act, like it just it you you notice them running out of Pokemon character models. <laughs> you run like hey, uh, and the the final parade scene is like there are everyone's got an Arcanine, everyone's got one. Apparently yep. they're all Arcanines. It's like it, it was very clear that they were like we we got enough money to do twenty five. Pokemon models to a pretty sick. I was, but I was like, you got a good Gengar model. Why don't Why don't other people have Gengars? I don't understand. Yeah, there was maybe about like thirty, maybe thirty five Pokemon total on screen. Yeah, throughout the whole movie, and then some of them were in the shadows. Some of them had their back turned. Like they were, you know, being utilized, but like there was, there yeah. was not the full hundred and fifty. There wasn't a whole lot of variety, and especially at the there. End. Well, there was, but it just ran out of gas. Especially at the end. They had the whole parade with the whole city out there, so everybody had a Pokemon, but every, everybody had like this one of 30. But nobody else really had a Pikachu or a Psyduck. Or uh, that little, uh, what was the purple dog? The, the, the Snubble. A Snubble. That was the only like individual ones, and then everybody, I guess, you know, there was a couple other dittos. But like everybody else kind of just like had one of the other 20. Yeah. Um, and also... Which, is, which speaks to... Regional Pokemon and what they have in the area, and I and from a sure. Pokemon nerd uh, standpoint, yeah. I was mm -hmm. like, well, I was like, they only have like four or five routes leading from the city. Like the Pokemon, like it the, makes sense. The diversity is probably not as large as you would think. Sure, sure. sure. But, but I mean, yeah, some of the special effects at the end, and some of the cinematography throughout, like they cut a couple corners that there were a couple like punch ins that were like weirdly specific and kind of off center, and that it was kind of grainy. The footage was a little grainy yeah. as compared to when it cut back to like a normal shot. I was like. Oh, you guys had to cut a corner there. Uh, what was what was going on that you need to do that? Interesting. It didn't take away from the film, but like it was noticeable that like something was a little up with a few of the shots. 
But again, to our first point, this movie showed that a Pokemon movie can make a ton of money. Absolutely. Put way more money into the next one. Mm, yes, it deserves a lot. It deserves Marvel's, <laughs> yeah, Marvel budget. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe not Avengers budget, but like, you know, like a mid-tier yeah. Marvel movie. A Thor movie. Yeah. Give it, yeah, give it a Thor movie budget, and then and you, you will get everything back. You will get it back. Yeah. So, Jay, just the toys alone you'll sell. I mean, all the plushies? All the plushies? Yeah. I mean, it's going to be crazy. Just, well, it's all the merch. Yeah. You did a fantastic job selling merch. Because I, I want pick I want a Pokemon now. Please, please let Sword and Shield be good. Please, it everything is to everything depends on this. Pokemon Company, Sun and Moon were not good. A lot of people will tell you that they were. They weren't. <laughs> Bring back Mega Evolutions. Get rid of Z moves. Please, 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 please. The future of Pokemon is so bright. It is. Just give us a good game to get us through. That's all I'm gonna say. Sorry, that's like not really involved that's, in the movie at all. Okay, no. But I, it's all, all I can think about is Pokemon today. It's all good. Whew. Understandable. So Jay, would you recommend this movie to our viewers? Yes, yes, because I think uh, it's uh, our first point is our best point. This is this is gonna be the beginning of something cool. And please, if anything, I'm recommending it. So please give this movie money so we can get better ones down the line. Yeah, I'm so hopeful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, this movie was, I have so many issues with it, but at the end of the day, I still was smiling the whole time. Like, if anything, if you're a Pokemon fan or even just a casual Pokemon fan, you're going to have a good time. Yep. Take and a kid. Get them into Pokemon. Yeah. And the more as, the merrier. As a, as a casual fan, as a, as a dirty, filthy casual, <laughs> uh, I would also recommend this movie. It's fun. The, the Pokemon are Beyond adorable. Like, everyone's got those big puppy dog eyes. Like, I'm like, oh, oh. You're, everyone is so cute. My heart can't handle this. <laughs> yeah, Kimberly, we were leaving. She's like, what was the dog one? I was like, that's Growlithe and Arcanine. Those are some of my favorites. She was like, I, I want those. And I was like, yes, we would have that. We'd have three. <laughs> <laughs> so definitely go see this movie. Take some kids or don't. It do but remember, this is going to be a kids film. So turn your brains off. Just enjoy it. It's not going to be too deep, and maybe, and we spoil it. We already spoiled all the twists yeah. and stuff like that. So just enjoy it. The action, I like. I enjoyed the third act. I thought the action was pretty cool. So if you guys have seen this movie, let us know what you think in the comments below. Or you can hop in our Discord channel where lots of fun, cool people are talking about lots of fun, cool stuff. We have a specific channel just for this movie. <laughs> well, I just wanted to put spoilers all in one because it took us a while to see the movie. I was very busy, and so I didn't get, I didn't get to see it opening night, which I'm bummed about. But I was just like, guys, talk here. Uh, do not spoil anything. But it's all good. The link for our Discord is down below in our description box. So while you're down there, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Do that YouTube that you do so well. Guacamole's extra. You giant Torterra you. It's my own... They have six literally, literally battleship-sized Torterra in this movie. Yeah, it and it's never remedied. Like, that is a huge issue. It's a huge problem. It was a really fun sequence. It was awesome. But what? Yeah. Like that that's going to have to be dealt with. Yeah. I what what are you going to do as a society? Like literally, there's just six of them and like they could just level cities. What what? Uh I, that's all I've been thinking about. What's the uh what's the giant turtle uh monster in Godzilla's universe? Oh, what's his name? Yeah, you put me on the spot. Don't Sorry. put me on the spot. But I can't that, remember. That is what I was thinking but, of. But wow, I was like, those are scene. literally kaiju. Yeah, kaiju. they are, yeah, it's Pokemon kaiju. They're that big. They're just walking mountains that could level cities. And they're like, they pop up, and, and they, they just, just go, go back, back down. down. I was guys. Like, uh, guys. Uh, Y'all. Great scene. Amazing scene. It Someone's going to have to deal with that. But like, what do we do now with those? <laughs> Other videos are popping up soon. Please watch those. We would appreciate it as much as we appreciate you watching this one. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.